Today I'm going to be unboxing and testing this guy. This is the East Point brand Accurate Aim Hover Target. Now I'm pretty sure Nerf has something very, very similar to this. If they do, I'll put it up on the screen. This is the same thing, but Walmart brand. So without further ado, let's get into it. So I gotta open this up. It's gonna require four D batteries. So that's why I have some of these today. Gonna undo it here, just a little bit of tape. The reason I got this is because, quite frankly, it just looks fun. And you know, if, it, if you're gonna have fun with it, it's 100% worth it. Oh, there's ping pong balls. Oh, they're like little styrofoam. Okay, let's take a gander. There's a lot of pieces. Okay, so we have the gun. Oh, <laughs> that thing is like, bah! how do I, how do I load? <laughs> yeah, don't ever do that. Oh my God, that was crazy. Dude, what? Dog, okay. So I thought this, I thought, not gonna lie, I thought the gun was gonna be kind of chintzy and sucky, but it's not. It might actually leave a bruise or a whelp or something if it hits you. <laughs> be very, very careful with this. It's a simple setup, I think. I think the setup process is pretty simple. Oh, there's hangers, what? Oh, that's what these guys are. Okay, so we gotta undo some of this hardware here. Cover target shooting game. All right, before in building, please inspect and lay out all your parts. Here we go, they've been inspected. So 4D batteries are gonna go back here. I need a Phillips screwdriver. Phillips screwdriver required. Unscrew. Next up, D batteries. D's batteries. <laughs> so these are on, ready to go. There are, okay, so these little guys here, I'm just making a mess. These little guys, I guess, are the stands. Oh yeah, that's actually pretty sturdy, dude. This thing is not, dude, this thing is pretty solid. I really underestimated the uh, quality of this little guy here. Next, we've got these dudes. These little guys are like targets. So I gotta stick them on up front here. Just like so. I guess I just slip it in. Is that how that works, bro? Uh, they're just difficult to deal with. Push them in a little harder, I guess. What the heck, bro? Ow. Man, we're struggling. Bro, why is this so hard to do? Dog, oh, this is dumb. What? Oh, I got one. Yes. You just gotta push on it a little bit. Okay, so these little guys are like targets. So if you hit these, you got next today flat. There's these dudes. But like, what do they do? What? What are these? No, I don't understand what purpose these serve. I just had to attach these little guys. But like, what do they do? I'm confused. Is it like a holder? Like a gun holder thing? Oh, yep. I was right. I nailed it. You shoot at it and you store it like this. You just, you just, there. It's still, oh, that's actually pretty compact and nice. So the gun just sticks here and you just, bam. <laughs> so it's all put together now. We got to test it out. How do I turn it on? Oh, whoa, hold on. We got to see if this works. Ready? <laughs> Bro, what? Okay, it's just air, but like, that's cool. They're like shaky too, that's weird. Well, you know what we got to do, ladies and gentlemen. Dang, I missed. We gotta aim down the crosshairs. Oh, we got one! Let's go. That's too much fun! Wait a minute. Balls, sit down. We gotta take this outside. All right, gang, I've got the thing set up right over here. Um, Balls in my pocket, let's get to shooting it. Hey, hey! Oh no, they fell off! Let me shoot one of the, the little orange targets. Dang. Oh no! <laughs> I gotta turn that thing off to go get the balls because those D batteries aren't cheap. I'm not gonna put the wind on just because it does blow the balls away quite a bit. I'm just gonna shoot and see what happens. What the heck? <laughs> I have a new idea for a game. I'm gonna shoot it against the wall of the house and it's gonna bounce back and I gotta try and catch it. There we go. I <laughs> got, got a quick draw. Oh, look at that. I'm not gonna shoot the camera, don't worry. That would be bad. Let's shoot the target. There's no dart in it. <laughs> Let's see if it'll hit my car. Oh, it goes pretty far though. Bruh. Hey, it's stuck, let's go. <laughs> oh, that was almost the exact same spot. Hey, let's go see it, let's go see it. I ended up shooting all six of them. Two went under my tire, and three went on the, <laughs> actually at the car. Okay, this thing is super cool. Was it worth the 21 or $22 to get? Yes, it's fun, it's relatively harmless. Obviously, I imagine if you shoot someone in the eye with it, it's not gonna be, you know, it, it's gonna be bad. But I like I like the little flappy targets and I like how sturdy this base is. My only real complaint is with these little air bits because, I mean, they keep them up in the air, but once it's outside, if you take it outside, it kind of stops working properly anyway. The thing is, the balls kind of freak out a little bit and eventually they'll just, Go away. I think indoors is best for the balls. Either way, overall, I really like it. 
I like the little flappy dudes. I thought there was like in a scorekeeping mechanism. I think, I think this is just for design to look cool, you know? But either way, was it worth the money? Yes. Did I have fun with it? Absolutely. Do I recommend you get it? If you want, go for it because it's really, really fun. It'd be fun for like an obstacle course kind of thing to work. And you know, I'm just thinking about this. It's like, you know, you do this obstacle course and part of the obstacle course is just a bam real quick and hit, hit a ball off of there. So I think it was definitely worth it. If you have the means, get one and check it out. It's really fun. I, have, I had a good time with it. Oh, and like I said, I believe Nerf makes one very similar and it's probably better and more expensive. So I don't know. If, if you're at Walmart, I wouldn't I wouldn't be opposed to getting one of these because I mean, that in itself is just cool. Let's be real here. Look at that. They all stayed on. All right, guys. So if you enjoyed this, I'm going to put a couple different videos up on the screen for you. A video here and a playlist here just to show you other videos I've done. Subscribe right here in the middle. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.